everybody and welcome back. Today is Friday, so you know that means it's time for another food video. Today what we are making isn't exactly food, but it is something that is trending right now. It is that new whipped coffee thing that I've been seeing all over the internet, so that's what we are making. But before we get started, go ahead and go comment down below where is your favorite place to go get coffee, because I know what mine is, and it's mine is Starbucks, and I know what I get there, and I get the same thing every time. And this is kind of like that, but a little different. So, let's get started. First things first, what we're gonna do is I have this beautiful stand mixer right here that we're gonna be using. You can use a whisk, you can use like a normal little mixer. I have a stand mixer, and this is what I've elected to use. So, what we're gonna be doing opening her up and putting in equal parts of sugar, instant coffee mix, and hot water. Yes, it sounds weird, but that's what we're doing. I'm using a half a cup one because, you know, more. So I'm just gonna use a lot of sugar because I like my coffee sweet. Half a cup of sugar. Gotta open the instant coffee too, you know, gotta do all the things. Putting this in, filling her up. A lot of instant coffee, this is gonna be a lot. And then comes the most important part is the water. My water is hot as hot can be. I use my electric tea kettle, you can use your microwave, your hot water from your stove, your count, your sink. I don't know why I said all those other kitchen things, but just adding all that in equally. And then I'm putting this blender in and I'm just gonna add slowly blend it for now and then just let it get faster and faster and faster as time goes on. We have a lot of waiting to do, so we gotta let it blend. Yeah, let it blend. It's gonna blend for a long time until it gets nice and whipped. Like, it literally will turn into whipped cream consistency. It's weird, I don't know how it does this. I think it's something with like, how this is made, and then the sugar sweetens it, and then the water activates it. It's weird. I enjoy it a lot, it's pretty cool. Now it's just kind of blended together, it's just watery liquid. I'm turning the speed up so it goes faster. I mean, if you're whisking it by hand, this is going to take forever. This thing is a lifesaver for this like kind of thing. As we can already see in here, it's starting to get like rockier. It takes a little bit of time, you'll see. So as it's slowly coming together, I'm just boosting the speed ever so slightly, just so it becomes what it's supposed to be in a quick amount of time. This could take a long time, but you know, handy dandy KitchenAid sand mixer saves the day for me. Makes this a lot easier, a lot faster, does all the things for me very well. As you can see, it's starting to get frothier and frothier and frothier. So as it's doing that, I'm gonna start preparing the other portions of the drinks. I have these beautiful tall glasses and I have caramel sauce. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my caramel, open her up, do this, and then just kinda like hit the insides of my glasses with the caramel. Make it like a little Starbucks y caramel y thing. I'm gonna do it all four first. I mean, I guess you can do this with chocolate sauce or strawberries, but I don't know why you would do strawberry with your coffee, but like, look at it, it's already starting to get frothier, so we're just gonna let it slowly get frothier. I like keep doing this and getting the rest of the drinks ready. Now, having them all in front of me, it's like whipped cream right now, that's awesome, that's unreal. I'm taking ice, because you know, ice and coffee like go together. Putting just a scoop of ice in all of them, making them nice and, you know, iced, because, kind of goes together. She's starting to get more whipped and more whipped and more whipped. Oh my goodness, it looks beautiful. Now I'm having milk on top of ours. If you want to do, put this on a milkshake or whatever, great. I have milk. Just putting milk in all of these, filling them decently full. Just so there's enough room on top. I tried to make them all about equally full. I may have succeeded or I may have failed. Our coffee is whipped. Look at that. I'm just gonna slowly turn this down, but leave it on, and just lift it ever so slightly so this coffee whip comes off the thing. Now look at that coffee whip. Look at that coffee whip. That's coffee whip. Coffee whip. Now all I'm doing is taking a spoon. I'm using a tablespoon, because I elected for the big spoon. Putting a nice little scoop of this nice, coffee whipped creamy stuff I've made in here. It's okay if you use your fingers and just kind of get in. It's all right. Get in there. Get in there. Yes. Making sure there's enough of it so it's full but not overflowing insanely. So all I'm doing now is just taking it, smoothing it off over the top, making it look a little prettier getting rid of excess, you know, the things. Making them very presentable. Making them look beautiful. Presentation of stuff like this is half the Oh God, the good one got all messy. Now, using a towel, I'm literally taking 
a towel and wiping it so it's nice and clean around the rim. Getting all that excess foam and everything off just, just so it's pretty. You know, pretty is what wins. Wiping all the coffee off. Make sure it's clean, there's enough foam on top. Smoothed out, getting rid of excess, you know, doing the things. Now that these guys are all made, what I'm gonna do is I'm taking these, these are called pirouettes, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what they're called, I don't know. They were just kind of in our pantry. And I figured what else goes on coffee other than a straw and milk? Um, sometimes it's a little piece of a cookie. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these, they kind of look like straws, they kind of look like deliciousness. Yeah, yeah, this is a Starbucks cookie straw. So yeah, putting the cookie in and putting a straw in. We're gonna do this for all four of them, make them look presentable, and then we're gonna try them because we want them to be delicious. That's the goal, is for them to taste good and look good. Yes, there we go. These are looking beautiful. And voila, just like that, we have four of the viral TikTok whipped coffees. Now is the moment of truth. How does it taste? First, we're gonna give it, we're not a straw person. I don't think this is a straw drink though. I'm not gonna lie, that was more for presentation purposes. But there's milk, caramel, and coffee on top that's been turned into whipped cream. I have a coffee mustache. Well, since I put the caramel in there, when you take a drink of it, you get really, really, really caramely hints, which is really good. Then you get the coffee and a little bit of milk, and it is just absolutely fantastic. This is honestly something very easy that you all can really do and try at your own house. It honestly will be a drink at Starbucks here probably in the next year, I bet. But that is it for this episode of The Food Dude. If you guys liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that red subscribe button. Join the food family. Do all the things. Also, leave me a comment. What is your favorite kind of coffee? But that is it. And I'll see you guys back here on a Saturday. Peace.